Well, good evening and welcome. I'm on Cold Fell, just outside of Ennerdale. It's Saturday, 15th of August, 2020, and tonight, well, I finished my night shifts. I saw a fancy the wild camp. It's a beautiful evening. Penny's excited. Hoping to do wild camp on Greik, which is a couple of miles away. A bit of climbing to do. So uh, it's 10 to 6 now. It's been a while since I've walked on this track. In fact, the other day I was just further up at the Stone Circle, which is a couple of hundred metres just up the road there, having a digs. So anyway, let's crack on. It's got a little bit hazy, as you can see on the camera. It's... So it's, a, it's gone cooler, thankfully. The sun's up there somewhere between the clouds. I hope I don't get any rain showers overnight. Probably a chance of it, but we shall see. But yeah, we're just heading into the uh, forestry area now. As we go uphill. It's quite pleasant. Haven't passed anybody yet. Now uh, Mont, he's doing all right. Celebrated his 14th birthday last week with uh, some, well, all he'd done was fed his face really, so. Did all right, like. So this has opened up rather nicely now. Coming up the path here, and it zigzags round here, and comes up a bit, and then it'll twist round. This fell up is heck barley, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, you can see it's still quite hazy. I can still see Galloway over there. But I've still got some tremendous views this evening. No wind, so if there's no wind, it could be mid city. Which isn't clever. Right, so there's just been a large junction there coming from um, other areas from Blakely Race for the forestry, so we'll swing around now. So on the right path. So that's Greik in front of us, top there. There was another path that goes along the back of these small trees further along. It's all dual circular, so it's, it was, last, it was 2014, last up. I actually did a video, I mean John did this, 2014, but uh, I don't think it's, I don't think I've put it on YouTube, strangely enough. Might put it on one day. We look much younger then. So I've just topped over this style, where I've come now. Absolutely beautiful evening. So I'll turn it round. So Greg's just up there, see this bit of grass marked out. It's probably steeper than it actually looks. And with extra water on board it'll be heavier and harder. But might as well get on and get to the top and put Penny's lead on. Well that was a steep hike. You know, all this pack. So that's the top of Greik. There's the summer can. And there's barely any wind. Just a little breeze. Very nice so Look at the views here. Absolutely spectacular. Inside the shelter. All the other fells beyond. Cog Fell's the next one. He's Monty just arrived and he's come off the lead now to make his way up. Oh, it's proper nice. But yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just hope this little bit of cloud over the horizon disappears to give a, a clear sunset. It was a good one last night. And we've seen some good ones last week on YouTube that I watched as well, some cracking videos. Now it was nice that folk, the regular campers, have gone out away from the honey pots. It's a quiet area. So there's Ennerdale just down here. Oh, it's lovely. And Blake fell over there. Not Merton as well. 
to where to come to Cogramos three weeks ago. And just down here, I forgot about that, the weather station's just down here. A couple of hundred yards away. Right, get a pitch. Well, I'll quickly set up now, and there's, the wind has completely died down, and it's flying ants. Brilliant. <laughs> Not. Oh, joyful. All over this tent. I need a bit of breeze, folks. <laughs> of all places, you think, oh, it's about to be a breeze on top of here, but it eases off. I mean, look at here. On the, on the again. I think there's a nest. Joy. Strangely enough, I went over here earlier. I can hear music going on somewhere where there's someone else is having a wild camp around. Not too far from here. You're open to debate. But I can hear some music. But I can't see anybody yet. Don't know if it's picking up on the camera. All these flying ants. No for the little dude one. Cracking. Well, I'm gonna get something to eat because I'm starving. Hey Penny. So I've had my tea. I've left one for the morning. I'll have a biscuit in a bit now. I've got some sausages for Penny. That's why they're waiting patiently. And Monty there as well. Um, and there's the sun. There's a bit of mist just coming over. Yeah. Over there. But yeah, in the distance, it doesn't look like it. It's cleared up a bit. I did locate someone over there. I could hear music. Someone was walking down the fell. I don't know if anyone's camping in that vicinity or not. Now, so I've just zoomed in on a weather station there. You can tell it's gone a little bit hazy, claggy there, just... And just in the bits and bobs of cloud. It's got lower. Well, I'm just sitting outside the tent now. Believe it or not, it's clagged in right around. All the way around. You couldn't make it up. I'm just going to try and go around. But, uh, yeah. You can still see the sun over there, but uh, it's definitely clagged around a bit now. Not clever. So just having a cuppa. I haven't brought any alcohol. Just got more water in the bag. It's all right than usual. I thought it was quite thirsty work getting a piece, so I've gone through one of my um, bottles, water bottles. I brought four water bottles and another two litres in a big container in the bag, so... Right, so it's nice to get back out again. Luckily on this camp so far, I've not seen any dirty, skanky rubbish. So maybe this is a quieter area, so you're not going to get it with a bit of luck. Over at Ennerdale there. I would say it'll be quite rammed tonight in the Ennerdale Valley. There'll be a few people camping and uh, down at Bonus not as well. So come away from it. It's quiet, there's no one about. Just lovely and quiet. Hey, Pen. Hey, Mont. It's actually turned into a bit of a cloud inversion now. This is two minutes later after I'd stopped filming. It's out in the front. Beauty, yeah? Late cloud inversion. Looking out towards Great Bourne. It's cleared up again. Weird weather. Weird clouds. May you get that delightful sunset yet. Well, the sun is setting. It's just crept through the clouds there. You can see a bit of red here now. I'm just zooming it in, keeping me on steady. Just 
strange looking it's like a red blob in the sky nights are drawing in now cracking end to the night can't see nothing over there can't even zoom in on the Isle of Man or even Sellafield it's close by can't see out Try again. It's, it's shown up rather strangely. Well, it's five past nine. It's it's all clagged over now, over to my left, and just looking over out west. It's one or two lights on, you can see, but clag's coming over, so it's gonna be dark pretty soon. Up here, I think. Little breeze got up as well. I don't think I'm going to get much rolling in now. Oh well. Well, good morning. It's ten to seven. It's bucketed it down all night. Tent held up perfectly. Actually waterproof this during lockdown period. So, in fact, it never experienced any rain. I don't think until now. So, works fine. Well, it's cleared up a bit over here now. It's panning round to the west and further south. I'm hoping, well, the wind's behind me as I'm talking now. I'm hoping that's blowing now and that's what I've just had, so it's going to clear up. Well, I'm going to get packed up because it looks like down in the Dale Valley there, pillars over there. The distance you maybe can't see it now because the clag's coming. It's heading this way. So I could get another shower. This moving left where Great Barn is and beyond. It is hit and miss there. Chance of a shower. I've got the poncho so I better put it on on the way back down. So I've got most of my stuff packed in back, so I just need to take the tent down. I'll lob it up on the line when I get back. I'll be back home in half an hour once I'm down to the bottom half hour tops and out on the road there we are, it started raining got the old poncho on, look really stupid filming from my phone now, no trace so I'm gonna head back down caught a, a pretty unpleasant shower so I'll crack on back down hopefully it shouldn't take too long well I'm down at the top now apologies that this poncho looks absolutely ridiculous on me I bet you can guess, can you guess where it's from? I'm not going to say because I think you already know the answer. But yeah, the rain's eased off a little bit now, thankfully. And we're back on the main track. So I should take another half hour to get down with a bit of luck. Hopefully the rain won't stay on too long. Oh, look back where we've been. Right, that's, the rain eased a little bit now. I'm just on way down on the track. Uh, got quite heavy there on the top when I was packing up so this poncho is coming a bit useful now I've figured it out got it all fitted around the bottom and stuff so it's done the job so I didn't fetch the other rain mac with me but uh, I knew this would be fine but, yeah, that's how it is anyway a typical Cumbrian day a few hours earlier splitting the pavements a few hours later bucketing it down Somebody just get you still up here, I suppose. Anyway, it's a lovely view from there. Looking down. Uh, in the distance you can see Frizzitton. And a little bit of clue to mower to the left. Uh, not far to go, it's hundred mile walk now. So I'll leave it at that. Good camp, and hopefully I'll get out again when the weather turns nice. But I think next week's gonna be crap. I'll see you up next year.